my dear students in my previous video uh, we started to solve the exercise 2.5 in that exercise i solved the first sum in the first sum we have four subdivisions and i solved all the four subdivisions in the first exercise first problem now i am going to solve the second sum in the exercise 2.5 exercise 2.5 the second sum we are going to solve now uh, in the first sum we have four subdivisions i have solved in the previous video the second sum is if z1 and z2 are any two complex numbers and mod of z1 equal to modulus of z2 equal to 1 given and also one more condition z1 into z2 is not equal to minus 1 using these conditions we have to show that z1 plus z2 by 1 plus z1 into z2 is a real number that is the problem mod of z1 given it is 1 on squaring both sides mod of z1 square is also 1 because squaring both sides mod of z1 square is also 1 you know by modulus of the property of modulus of complex numbers it is z1 z1 bar equal to 1 we say that z1 bar equal to 1 by z1 from this expression i have got this z1 bar equal to 1 by z1 similarly from mod of z2 equal to 1 we get z2 bar is equal to 1 by z2 we can write this also from these two results we are going to find out or we have to show that this z1 plus z2 by 1 plus z2 plus z2 is a real number consider the given problem by z that is z1 plus z2 by 1 plus z1 into z2 by a number complex number z because we have to show that this is real it is enough to show that z equal to z bar if a complex number and its conjugates are equal then we say that the complex number is real therefore we can say the problem by z and what is z bar that is z1 plus z2 bar by 1 plus z1 into z2 bar conjugate taking conjugate both numerator and denominator Split the conjugate z1 bar plus z2 bar because conjugate of the sum is sum of the conjugates. Similarly, by 1 plus z1 bar into z2 bar, product of the conjugate we can split into conjugate of the product that is equal to z1 bar. You know, 1 by z1 bar is 1 by z1 plus z2 bar is 1 by z2. The whole divided by 1 plus again z1 bar is 1 by z1 and z2 bar is 1 by z2. I can rewrite z1 z2 bar by that expression we have derived. Now you can say that z bar equal to taking LCM in the numerator. Z bar is in the numerator. You can take z1 into z2 as common denominator. LCM. Z1 into z2 bar or the LCM of this expression, then z2 plus z1 we get 1 into z2 plus z1 into 1 into z1. By taking the LCM z1 into z2, I get this. Similarly, in the denominator also, you will get z1 into z2 as a common LCM. And one into z one into z two is z one into z two plus one into one is one. Now you see, both in the numerator and in the denominator, denominators are equal. Is that one? Is that two? Is that one? Is that two? Both in the numerator and in the denominator, they are same. Therefore, they get cancelled. You will get 
is a 2 plus z1 by z1 plus z2 by z1 plus z2. Similarly, in the denominator, z1 into z2 plus 1 is 1 plus z1 into z2. The denominators, both the numerator and denominator are same, therefore they are get cancelled. So it is z1 plus z2 by 1 plus z1 into z2 z bar and z are same. This problem is the same as z, therefore this is z. So z bar equal z, therefore z is a real number. Z means the given problem. Is a real number. Let's talk about the problem. Now we will go to the third sum. Third problem in the exercise is some two complex numbers are given and they ask you to find out which one of the complex numbers is very close to the given number. That is problem B. For that, two complex numbers, we have to find out the distance between two complex numbers. Distance between two complex numbers, distance between two complex numbers, z1 and z2. Using this result, z1 is a complex number, say x1 plus iy1, z2 is a complex number x2 plus iy2. The distance between the two complex numbers are z1 minus z2, modulus value. That is, this is the complex number z2 and this is the complex number z1. The distance between them is mod of z1 minus z2. This is mod of x1 plus iy1 minus x2 plus iy2. Modulus value. You simplify the real part, the difference of the real part x1 minus x2 on subtraction plus i common y1 minus y2. Difference of the real part and the difference of the imaginary part. This is nothing but mod of a plus ib is root of x1 minus x2, the whole square, plus y1 minus y2, the whole square. So distance between the two complex numbers is this. Using this fact, we are going to solve the problem three. Using this formula, we are going to so the same formula as we derived in the analytical geometry in your royal process. Distance between two points. You find out already in mathematics the analytical geometry topic in the lawyer classes. Similarly, the third problem is. Which one of the following points uh, are given? There are two points given. One is 10 minus 8i and another is 11 plus 6i. Out of these two points, which one is close to 2? 1 plus i. Which of the point is out of these two close to 1 plus i? That is you have to find. For that, we will first to find out the distance between 10 minus 8i and 1 plus i. Models of 10 minus 1 plus i time of minus, minus 8 plus into minus minus i common i common you are taking i common minus 8 and minus 1 this is 9 plus minus 9i modulus value root of 9 square plus 9 square minus 9 square is 9 square it is this is equal to root of 81 plus 81 
81 plus 81 is root of 162. So distance between the point 10 minus 8i and 1 plus i is root of 162. Similarly, the distance between 11 plus 6i and 1 plus i. Distance between 11 plus 6i, 11 minus 1 plus i, you take common 6 minus 1. This is again 11 minus 1 is 10, 6 minus 1 is 5i. This is equal to root of 10 square plus 5 square. This is equal to root of 10 square is 100, 5 square is 25. That is equal to root of 125. See, out of these two distances, 125 is smaller than root of 162. This is the shortest distance. So, 1, 11 plus 6 i is closer to the point 1 plus i. Therefore, 11 plus 6 i is closer to 1 plus i. Answer. Because the distance between 11 plus 6i and 1 plus i is smaller distance. Therefore, 11 plus 6i is closer to 1 plus i. Let's solve about the problem 3. Next, to solve the problem 4, we again make use of some results in the advent frame. I will give some results to solve the problem 4. Okay, you consider that as a remark. Suppose z1 and z2 or any two complex numbers. See, this is origin, this is real axis, and this is imaginary axis. This is z1, O is z1, and this is z2, O is z2. The distance and is that one? The distance between is that one and is that two is more of is that one minus that one. So which one is uh, the, the the distance o is that one is more of is that one and the distance o is that two is more of is that two. And then the triangle o is that one is that two. Some of the two sides should be greater than the third side. In a triangle, always some of the two sides should be greater than the third side. Therefore, modulus of z1 minus z2 distance between the two points is less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. Some of these two distance, two sides should be greater than or equal to the third side. This is one result from the triangle touch. Okay, also mod of z1 minus mod of z2, the difference is also less than or equal to mod of z1 plus z2. Difference of two sides should be less than or equal to mod of z1 plus z2. And which is again less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2, you know, this is triangle inequality. The right side is triangle inequality. And the difference is less than the sum of two complex numbers and which is equal to less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 by triangle inequality. Similarly, mod of z1 minus mod of z2 is less than or equal to mod of z2 minus z2. This is the difference of the two sides should be less than the third side. So that difference of the two sides should be less than the third side with mod of z2 minus z2. And this is again equal to from the first result mod of z1 plus mod of z2. So using this idea, we are going to solve the problems. Okay. Fourth problem we are going to solve by using this idea. Problem 4 is, if modulus of z is 3 and 
show that 7 less than or equal to mod of z minus plus 6 minus 8 i which is less than or equal to 13. That is the problem. 7 less than or equal to z minus z plus 6 minus 8 i less than or equal to 13. First, mod of z plus 6 minus 8 i mod of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2. We know that. Mod of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2. So this is mod z again. Sorry. Mod z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2. Mod z is 3. This is modulus 6 square plus 8 square. This is less than or equal to 3 plus 36 plus 64, 8 square. This is less than or equal to 3 plus 100. 100 is, square root of 100 is 10. This is less than or equal to 30. So, mod of z plus 6 minus 8 is less than or equal to 13. You consider this is by itself 1. And similarly, the second one, mod of z plus 6 minus 8 i is greater than or equal to mod of mod z1 minus mod 6 minus 8 i. This is one the second. This is greater than or equal to mod z is 3 and minus root of 6 square plus 8 square. Similarly, greater than or equal to 3 minus again this is 100. This is modulus value. And this is equal to mod of 3 minus 10. This is greater than or equal to mod of minus 7. Minus 7 modulus is 7. So therefore, mod of z plus 6 minus 8 i is greater than or equal to 7. See, combining these two, mod to the top z plus 6 minus 8 i is greater than or equal to 7 and that also less than or equal to 30. Combining 1 and 2, the cells combining the cells 1 and 2, you will get the inequality. Combining the equations 1 and 2, we get the inequality 7 is less than or equal to mod of z plus 6 minus 8 i, which is again less than or equal to 13. So, 7 less than or equal to mod z plus 6 minus 8 i and again less than or equal to 13, combining 1 and 2, we get the result. So, the problem 4 over. The fifth problem we will see in the next video. Thank you.